Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at axial tension. Axial tension is the first capacity that we'll be covering in Steel Structures 1. Uh, now if you remember, steel uh, tension is the pulling force that attempts to elongate a member. Tensile strength in design is uh, assessed in sort of two factors in terms of geometric properties as well as material properties. Now under the geometric properties we're most concerned with the gross area and under the materials property we're mostly concerned with the yield stress, the fracture stress, the Young's modulus as well as the ductility. Now the objectives of this chapter are listed below and we're going to try and cover all of them in this chapter. Now we're going to first and foremost find the section capacity of a member in tension and this is denoted in NT. Uh, we're also going to determine the failure mode uh, yield or fracture, whichever is more likely to occur. And we're going to learn also about the shear lag and eccentricity, which are phenomena that occur when elements of a section are not connected entirely. And we're also going to look at residual stress and holes and how they impact uh, steel members in tension. Right, so we're first thing going to cover residual stress in uh, steel members. Now if you remember residual stress, uh, we discussed this in previous chapters. Uh, it's a result of the manufacturing process where there's a differential cooling in the section of steel. So some parts uh, cool faster than others. And this places part of the steel in compression whilst others uh, remain in tension. And this results in a net stress within the steel member. Okay, so how does this actually affect uh, the member, especially when it's placed in tension? So if we can